8.8 magnitude quake hitting Chile earlier this morning and now tsunami warnings are a concern across the Pacific Basin. Uh, we have them up and down uh, with the exception of Chile now because the wave has moved on and it's moving on to places uh, uh, like Hawaii. I'm here at State Civil Defense Headquarters, which is up in uh, Diamond Head, if anyone's ever been out here into Honolulu. And you just heard those sirens on the air a moment ago, certainly an unexpected wake-up call, although we are as rehearsed as we can be out here in Hawaii. We have monthly tsunami alerts, uh, much like that as practice, and uh, people know what to do when they hear them. It means to be ready to evacuate, no official evacuations yet, although most people are taking it upon themselves to get themselves out of a inund tsunami inundation zone if they are mapped inside of one. We will also have more warnings at the three-hour, two-hour, one-hour, and half-hour uh, intervals as the wave nears the island. Interesting, because, you know, states uh, on the mainland, if, we, if a siren goes off in, say, a, tor a tornado zone, that means the tornado is heading your way and take cover now. But what you're telling me is this siren is, is basically just an alarm clock, at least for now, to say, hey, listen, uh, get in touch with your local authorities, certainly turn on CNN, uh, and, uh, and, and, and stand by to see if you're going to have to evacuate. So there are no mandatory evacuations as of yet. That sounds kind of weird to me, considering that so many people live along the coastline, and in some places on the coast, we could see a, a, a wave, a powerful wave, several feet high. That's right, and the reason they're firing this off this far in advance is it gives us about five hours to prepare for what might happen next. Now, the state civil defense is already taking precautions, like shutting down Hilo Airport, that's on the big island, um, also standing up National Guard on all islands, CH-47 and uh, Black Hawk helicopters on standby as well to do coastal and civil air patrol. As those warning uh, intervals get closer and civil defense here, here where I'm at makes decisions about where and when to evacuate, they will then issue more specific instructions. But this lets everybody know, heads up, something's coming. we got about five hours, and as the intervals get closer, they come out with more specific instructions.